It's the Road to Redemption, baby. We're coming. Thumbs up. Guys, don't watch this podcast and not thumbs it. Give it a thumbs up. Just boop. Thumbs it. Thumbs up. Thumbs it. You watched it. You're gonna watch it. Thumbs, thumbs up. It helps. It helps a lot. Share it with your friends. And while you're here, subscribe. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome back to this episode of the Road to Redemption podcast. Holy crap. If you guys can't tell, I'm all disheveled. My hair is all crazy. I just recorded a 20-minute podcast for nothing. For nothing. I didn't have the camera going. And this is a perfect reason as to why we're going to talk about why you keep yourself small in life. Why? Why do we say things that are not nice to ourselves when we deserve it? Well, folks, sometimes we do dumb shit. Like have a podcast for five years and not hit the fucking record button. You have like 10 jobs, but one of them is to hit the record button. Guys, today we're going to talk about why, why do we keep ourselves small, right? Take two. Why do, we, why do we keep ourselves small? I don't need to tell you. It comes from your upbringing, your parents, right? The way that people spoke to you, spoke around you, uh, the thought processes of those around you, um, that doesn't necessarily mean education, always. One of the best people I know in life, my grandmother, um, she doesn't even, she didn't complete high school, but she's very smart, very educated, had a family, grew it, and, uh, you know, one of the most loving people I've ever met in my life. But what does it mean to be kept small in life. I am from Columbus, Ohio. I'm from the city in Ohio. When most people think Ohio, I think that they have a idea of these barns and these farms and stuff because that's kind of the way the Midwest is portrayed. Sure, they have those things, but that's not what all of us experience in Ohio, right? It's just not. Um... I don't understand why all those farms in Ohio, by the way, have the the Jesus signs. In, in the when you're going down the highway, especially in Ohio, 71 North and South is a very popular highway if you're going to get in or out of Columbus, especially or Cincinnati or whatever. You go down and there's down the highway. I know I'm taking a tangent. We'll come back to it. That's why it's called the Road to Redemption. It's windy, turny. We'll get there. And then I'll give you the redemption and the lesson. See? This whole thing is coming together. You know? Um, you go down 71, and there's like four or five signs. They're all black with red letters. And like the first one, I think, says Jesus is king or whatever. Second one is like um, hell is real. I think that's the big one. Everyone's like, oh, damn. And then the third one is like a bunch of gothic script writing that no one can read. It's like a Bible verse or the commandments or whatever. And then the last one, it's like, come to Jesus today. That is what people think of when they think of Ohio. Like, country, farmer type shit. Now, let me tell you, coming from Ohio, is my hair looking bad? I can't tell. The way this light is hitting, it makes it look like I have a bald spot, maybe. I don't know. I can't see. My eyesight's terrible because I can't find my glasses. Um, Today has just been a day for your boy, as you guys can tell. But, hey, makes for good content to watch me completely spaz out online. Um, Coming from a Midwestern mindset, it's popular. It's a popular way to think of, well, we're good old boy type people. We're from humble beginnings. We don't need much. Just, you know, we wake up before the butt crack of dawn. We work hard all day long to provide for our family. You know, we feed our community farmers and you know we we don't need all that yippy pretty boy city boy shit right that is a way that people think now it's not just in the midwest in the south that's a popular way of thinking Uh, my wife is from texas and all the time i hear ah all this yankee bullshit i'm like hey first off we won second off like not all of us think like that i'm from ohio most people in ohio think they're from the south 
but then I'm getting called a Yankee by my Texas wife. It's like, okay, so what's the real issue here? It's our identities. If you're from a farm, guess what? Farmers make bank. Good ones do anyway. Farmers that are good at business. Because here's the thing. I grew up with a lot of people going, oh, you know, I'm I'm just a diesel mechanic. That's just what I like. I like to work on diesel cars. And when I do that, I go home. I ignore my family. I drink some beer. And then I do it all again tomorrow. Till them Buckeyes come on. Then, oh, wait. I'll. Right? That That is a way that people become comfortable living. With all these different identities. While I drink beer when I get off work. Don't nobody bother me. And God bless it. I'm watching football on Saturday. (laughs) Right? That's a legitimate identity. We all know that guy. Do you think that guy is interested in growing himself? Probably not. At some point in life. All of us have a choice. I can take these ways that I was raised, the, the things that I saw in my life, the way that I saw life play out for other people. That's a big one that I want people to start fucking paying attention to. How does life play out for certain types of people? How do people that live really long, how do they eat? What do they do? Italians, they eat a lot of like... Uh, veggies and and veg uh, not so much like wheat enriched bull crap in their pasta and stuff and they take a shitload of walks learn something from that Asian people they eat a lot of veggies and uh, you know pickled kimchi and stuff rice they control it in small portions they take a lot of walks they do a lot of exercise learn from that shit instead of everyone getting mad and going well these are different stereotypes of different people Learn from this shit. Grow your mind. Expand yourself. That's how you keep from staying small. That's how. I, an ignorant ass fucking kid from Ohio, had to join the military because my small little belief of myself dwindled and almost fucking killed me. It led me to believe that if I wasn't going to work in a factory, a hospital... Or according to my dad, computers or green energy, I'm fucked. I'm useless to life. Because guess what? I'm six foot fucking tall. Wasn't six foot until I was like 23. I'm 150 pounds, 155 fucking pounds. Physical labor and being in the NBA, not happening for me. Don't give a shit about computers. And guess what? We got Elon. Green energy's fine. I like to yell on YouTube about my mental health, making it very clear that it's unstable. (laughs) No, I, from a young age, knew that I wanted to be an entertainer. I wanted to share the lessons of my life with other people so they would never hopefully have to hurt the way that I hurt, and maybe I can bring some fucking laughs along with it, right? Now, If I was just going to sit around and believe that people that don't work in hospitals or factories end up dead or in the military in Ohio, well, or in prison, I went to the military, which is great. My favorite thing about being in the military was all the people I got to meet from different walks of life. Before I met basic training, I knew a guy from Atlanta, New York, Fucking Missouri, uh, Idaho, everywhere, every fucking place. And you watch, they butt heads, and then they become best friends, and then they become brothers. And then all those people go to lead very different fucking lives than if they would have stayed in New York, Missouri, Idaho, Ohio. I live in Tennessee now. You know, I used to think, and I don't know why, other than the magic of life, I used to think all the time when I was a kid, for some reason, I want to live in Tennessee, where it's shady and foresty-like all the time. Well, guess what? I live here. It is plenty shady and foresty all the time, 
But it's also just like Ohio. It's humid as balls, and it fucking sucks sometimes. Like, it's just a place. It's just a place. So if you're sitting in, in Idaho going, well, I have to live in California to do what I want to do, therefore I can't do what I want to do. No. It's 2021. You can do anything you want to do. You want to be a chef? You don't even have to go to fucking culinary school. Just be good at cooking, film yourself cooking, and serve it to people that are able to convince the people watching that what they ate just tastes good. That's it. That's it. Can you open a restaurant doing that? Sure you can. But I don't know how... To, doesn't matter. You can learn. Watch a fucking YouTube video. Read a book. Grow yourself. <coughs> Excuse me. All this screaming's got me hoarse. Nay. Nay. It's got me... It's got me... Parched, I should say. Did I bring my water? All right. Let's talk about this fancy ass water real quick before we get out of here. I don't, this thing was two ninety nine by the way, and it's massive. Like it's bigger than it looks. My wife walked in and uh, thought I'd broken my sobriety and thought I was drinking out of a vodka bottle. I'm just parched. Um, yeah, everything guys, it's all about how you have to get rid of the limiting beliefs in your head that you're not meant for this, that only these things happen to other people. I can promise you everything that's happening to the people you look up to, someone told them that it wasn't supposed to happen to them. And they chose to disregard that day in and day out, every single day, until one day they were completely undeniable in whatever their field is. And every one of those people has a story where they talk about, I wasn't crap. I was terrible at what I did at first, and I just kept doing it. I just kept working through all the naysayers, through all the nights that I wanted to quit, through all the nights that I hated myself. I can tell the same exact story. You, if you do anything, anything that is off the beaten path of what you were born to believe is possible, more than likely, you will fucking hate yourself every single day for a very long time because there's a lot of failure and there's a lot of lessons to be learned. But in that, if you have the gall, if you have the wherewithal to stand in there and just keep going, at the end, you become something bigger than you ever thought possible. I, I am living proof of that. And I will continue to be living proof of that. If you want to watch that process, that journey, it's, it's the road to redemption, baby. We're coming. Thumbs up. Guys, don't watch this podcast and not thumbs it. Give it a thumbs up. Just boop. Thumbs it. Thumbs up. Thumbs it. You watched it. You're going to watch it. Thumbs thumbs up it helps it helps a lot share it with your friends and while you're here subscribe we love you we're out of here love you